The real estate market is starting to shift. Buyers, get ready. Welcome to your mortgage market update for June 9th, 2022. We get asked a lot, are we in a housing bubble? And we've told you over and over again, the answer is no. However, I would not go and pay $100,000 over asking because you don't need to right now because the market is starting to shift. Now, does this mean we should start warning sellers and more opportunity for for buyers, after speaking to a number of local real estate agents, doing a lot of research on my own, and looking at what a lot of economists have to say, this is what I can tell you. Home prices appear to be leveling off, and in, excuse me, and in um, leveling off due to higher interest rates, and overall affordability is improving. So, sellers, chances are you have seen the peak value of your home for this current marketing cycle market cycle and we are starting to see a lot of price reductions happening buyers get your pre-approvals updated with the current interest rates if you haven't already yes interest rates have gone up but the reality is historically low they're still historically low if you haven't if you've gotten discouraged by all the competition the past few years now is your chance to get moving literally Now is your chance to find that house that you have been waiting for. Now, in other news, we heard this morning from the ECU, the ECB, the European Central Bank, that they're going to finally hike their rates 25 basis points next month. This has been 10 years since they've done a rate hike. Europe's inflation is at 8.1% in May. To give you an idea, remember ours is at 8.3 until tomorrow because the ECB is finally starting to tighten, it is putting global, pressuring global yields higher. Remember, yields all around the globe are tied together. So as they push their yields higher, it's going to push our yields higher, which could make interest rates increase in the short term. However, remember, our US Fed is expecting to raise our federal funds rate by 50 basis points, both in June and July, and this will help curb our inflation. Speaking of inflation, the Bureau of Labor Statistics will release the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, tomorrow. The market is expecting a tough number as energy prices, rents, and wage inflations are all rising. We are expecting seven-tenths of a percent increase, and if that's what we get, our number will remain at 8.3. Now, MBA released mortgage applications for last week. This was big news because we hit the lowest level in 22 years, according to the MBA. Purchase apps decreased by 7% last week and are down 21% year over year. Refinances fell 6% last week and are down 75% year over year. But refinances are still making up 33% of all transactions due to debt consolidation loans, delayed financing, and the loans that you have to do for, like, let's say, a divorce situation. MBA did report a 30-year fixed rate at 5.4% last year, and that's with interest rates being 2.25% higher than this time last year. Keep in mind, these numbers don't take into account any points that the buyers borrowers are paying. Also keep in mind last week's numbers did have Memorial Day into it and this could have contributed to the big decline because of the holiday. With this market shift, buyers get ready. Now is your time. If you need to get pre-approved, make sure you're reaching out to the Rebecca Foot Mortgage Team. Or if you haven't updated your pre-approval with us already, we have been calling everybody, but if you haven't gotten yours updated with us, please make sure you respond to us. 717-609-4044, and we will help you get those houses under contract. Have a great rest of your day.